Good evening, everyone. I'm Riley King, and welcome to the Riley King Newscast, right here on the Riley King Network. We have a lot of news to get to this evening, so let's begin. First up, man dies after jumping from overpass onto I-293. Man hit by two vehicles pronounced dead at the scene, police say. Part of I-293 in Manchester was shut down Monday after a man jumped off an overpass into oncoming traffic, police said. Southbound lanes near the Mall of New Hampshire were closed and traffic was detoured off the highway at exit 1. State police said that just before 10.30 a.m., a man in his 40s jumped from the South Willow Street overpass. He was struck by two vehicles and pronounced dead at the scene. The man's identity has not been released. Witness Francis St. Hillier said he saw a man standing on the overpass. Another witness said he was driving his tractor trailer in the right lane of I-293 and swerved out of the way just before the man jumped into traffic. The man was struck by another vehicle, police said. Some of the witnesses who said they saw the man near the fencing on South Willow Street didn't think he would jump. Investigators said the drivers involved in the incident were lucky to escape without injuries. As the incident unfolded, police were called to another incident one mile north. Investigators said a woman stopped her car on I-293 South, exited her vehicle, and attempted to run into the northbound lane. She was stopped by a good Samaritan. Investigators said the two incidents are not related. If you or someone you know needs help, call the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline at 1-800-273-8255 or visit its website to talk to someone online. One thousand seven hundred space parking garage opens in Manchester. City hopes to receive federal grant to further develop area, reduce traffic. A 1,700 space parking garage in Manchester's mill yard opened Monday morning. Officials from Southern New Hampshire University said the mill yard parking garage will offer limited parking to SNHU employees, but it will eventually be open to the general public. The garage on South Commercial Street is located near Northeast Delta Dental Stadium, the Hilton Garden Inn, and the WMUR Studios. The $34 million garage will accommodate the roughly 1,000 SNHU workers who are in the mill yard area at any given time. Mayor Joyce Craig said that's good news for everyone parking in the city. Officials said they hope by the fall the garage will be open to the public during off business hours and weekends. The city is also working on plans to, for ways to ease congestion in the area, including a pedestrian bridge over Granite Street and a new 
access way to South Elm Street. The planned improvement projects are estimated to cost $25 million. City officials said they hope a federal grant will pay for most of that. Kamala Harris rises into second place in New St. Anselm College poll of New Hampshire primary voters. California Senator three percentage points behind Biden. Sanders drops to fifth place. Senator Kamala Harris has moved into second place among Democratic presidents presidential contenders, while Senator Bernie Sanders has dropped into fifth place in the latest New Hampshire primary poll conducted by St. Anselm College. Harris apparently still resorting with voters following her debate performance more than two weeks ago is backed by 17 0.5% of likely Democrats first in the nation primary voters. That support puts her just more than three percentage points behind former Vice President Joe Biden, who received 20.8 points. Senator Elizabeth Warren is a close third of at 16.7 points, less than a percentage point behind Harris. Sanders registered 9.9 .9 points behind Mayor Pete Buttigieg, who is fourth in the poll with 11.5%. Former U.S. Rep. Beta O'Rourke, after registering at 6.4 points in a St. Anselm College poll in April, received 0% support in the new poll. Senator Jean Shaheen raises $1.9 million in second quarter of 2019 for re-election bid. Campaign says two-term Democrat Senate tour entered July with $2.8 million on hand. As she continues to mount her 2020 re-election campaign, in a bid for a third term, Democratic Senator Jean Shaheen had another strong fundraising quarter between April 1st and June 30th. Shaheen's campaign Monday released first to WMUR its key second quarter fundraising numbers. The campaign said Shaheen raised more than $1.9 in the three-month period and entered July with more than $2.8 in cash on hand. And now let's take a look at that U.S. stock market and see how your U.S. stock market closed for this Monday evening. And here's a look at that U.S. stock market for all of you for this Monday evening. And your Dow Joe Industrial Average closed in the green and went up. Your NASDAQ closed in the green and went up. S&P 500 closed in the green and went up. Gold closed in the green and went up. Oil closed in the red and went down. U.S. 10-year closed in the red and went down. Your slash USD closed in the green and went up. And VIX closed in the green and went up. Stocks eke out a record close, but Wall Street remains cautious on upcoming earnings report. Stocks rose to notch a fresh record close on Monday, but the gains were muted as Wall Street remained cautious to start off the corporate earnings season. Former Vice President Joe Biden rolls out expanded Affordable Care Act health plan. Former Vice President Joe Biden has released a plan his campaign said would make the Affordable Care Act 
easier to navigate with more choices for Americans. The plan would expand upon the Affordable Care Act passed under the Obama-Biden administration and provide a public option for patients to buy into rather than a Medicare for all system that several of Biden's 2020 rivals advocate for. A consistent Biden has already started to draw on the campaign trail. Trump says his go back remarks to lawmakers, not all racists, as outrage grows. President Donald Trump extended his online attacks of progressive Democrat Congresswoman on Monday, asking when they will apologize to the U.S., adding a host of new and unsustainable changes. On Twitter, Donald Trump wrote, When will the radical left Congresswoman apologize to our country, the people of Israel, and even to the office of the president for the foul language they have used and the terrible things they have said. So many people are angry at them and their horrible and disgusting actions. That's what he wrote on Twitter. Trump's tweets come a day after he ratched up his attack on the group of freshman lawmakers tweeting that progressive Democrat congressmen should stop criticizing the government and go back to where they came from. And if you want to read more about that, we will have a link for you on the Riley King Network Facebook page. And that is it for this evening edition of the Riley King Newscast right here on the Riley King Network. I hope you all have a great rest of your evening, and I'll see you back here tomorrow for another newscast. And I'll have a news report coming up in a little bit. Good night, everyone, and bye.